Okay, that was. I'm still I'm still reeling from that encounter. Freaking heck! This that was the first real encounter in the game, and I was terrified of it. So this is Ridge of Goal. All right. Oh, this is fun <laughs> and terrifying. It's it's funny because it's not even a a death threat. Like everything should be fine. Although I am running into a problem. Oh, you're back. Oh wow, if I hold it down I can just explode the menu with it. That's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because that's what I did before. Move on. Yeah, and then this was... I, I haven't unlocked any new pages yet. Although the cobwebs are back, jeez. I mean, I know we're back in time, but come on. And who keeps lighting these candles? You're gonna burn down your wagon one day. Okay, so yeah. I've gotten a little better. Only a little. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. High morale. Interesting. So I guess I made the right choice with that? I don't know. Ooh. You can know exactly how long they've been exiled for. That's interesting. Although really... We kind of already have some clue, at least for, for Jodario since you only become a demon by spending a long enough time out in the wasteland. I have no idea how that happens, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's whatever, I guess. Is there a demon version of, of puppies? <laughs> demon puppies? I don't know. Okay. So I can only grab four anyway. So I guess I've made my choice. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what this middle box is for. Um, nothing really else left to do. Having a drink with Jadoriel. <laughs> I like that you get that. You get that. Here we are. Nearby. All right. Well, I yeah, I keep running, I keep running into a problem where my recording will be fine in the in the main menu, but then will shrink to a, to like a fourth, like in the corner. Uh, afterwards, and I don't know why that's happening. Like, it's weird, because my mouse is captured correctly, but then the rest of the screen is shrunken down to a fourth. So I've hit my mouse, uh, and reset everything. Hopefully it works fine now, but... If not, oh well. Hmm, I wonder where I'm going next. Rookie knows this mountain pass through to an arid region further north. Okay. Well, I don't really have a choice in the matter, so we're going this way. Cart got hops. Cart still's got hops. Ooh! It's a different map. Jumior Valley. Oh, well, it looked prettier before we were in it. <laughs> the climate here in Jumior Valley is hot and uncomfortable. Exiled curs roam this sand-swept fossil wasteland. See, now I would have just thought that meant exiles if I didn't know that apparently the puppy dogs are called curs for some reason. Among the eight scribes, the alpha Yeah, right. On top of that, we have a stowaway. Home? Can we go home? Who the fuck are you? She must have latched onto the undercarriage as you cross the ridge. Her manner is odd, though you sense she means no harm. Were you- wait, you held on during the hops? She must have overheard some of your fellow exiles conversations. You need but say the word, Hedwin. Oh, come on, you can't be serious, Jody. She's just some kid who managed to climb aboard our wagon undetected, but still. 
do it, Jody. Oh, damn. <laughs> Listen to me, girl. We cannot guarantee that we shall get you home or any of us, or any one of us. But at present, we have room for you and adequate provisions. You may accompany us for the time. Jadaria leaves without awaiting a response, presumably to make room in the wagon for your new guest. The stowaway is overjoyed at this. I did not... I did not see that one coming, Jodariel. Really? You are so kind! You are most kind to someone you just met, like me. May the eight scribes smile upon you all. Oh. Huh. Interesting. She clasps her hands... <sighs> clasps again. Or, nope, not even clasps. That's just claps. Bursts into laughter and performs some sort of dance. Rookie stares at all of this and leans in close to Hedwin. Hey, so, uh, what gives? First the reader, now we're taking her along? What, are we gonna take every might bitten drive imp we find now, too? Easy, Rookie. I think he'd want for us to bring this one along. Who, Sandalwood? I thought you just... I thought you said he asked we find someone to fit in every type of mask. Near as I can tell, yours would fit her just fine. The apparent name of some mysterious informant of th those guys. He asked that we use our best judgment. Besides, we send her away, she'll go telling anyone she finds about us. We can't risk that right now. So, um, can I come in? It's, it's very hot, and I'm a little thirsty and tired, too. Yes, you're welcome here with us. One question, though. What do we call you? Oh, well, this is embarrassing, I think, but I don't know for sure. It's just back home they called me lots of names, like for the color of my hair. They made fun of you just because you got gray hair? That's it! My name it rhymes with gray! My name, my name, oh, it's just... Oh, they, they called me lots of names. You sense the girl is struggling to recollect a certain name she felt best suited her. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who treat naming things as as a pastime, you can call her I gotta see. <laughs> I'm not calling her Bay or Gay, but, uh, There you go. I'm gonna call her Zay because apparently that one—that's a rarer name. Vistalia. Why? That's it. My name is Zay. My name is Zay. I'm assuming whatever name you choose. Ah, oh, pardon me. Uh, where I am from, they call me Zay the Poxy. But I guess maybe you don't have to say that part because I really didn't like it. A young vagabond girl with an odd manner and an unshakable sense of curiosity. New playable character? Your fellow exiles decide to bring Zay along for now. She almost collapses from exhaustion, so you take her in and show her somewhere she can rest. Zay joined the group. She's tired, but excited. Welcome aboard, motherfucker. Almost time for the part to end, really. Is that a skeleton? That's a skeleton. What? I'm just gonna ignore the skeleton in the right. Put it in my closet if I had one. The black wagon arrives in a somewhat peaceful stretch of Jumio Valley. 
Your companions wish to hole up here for the night and gives to give Zay and all of you a little time to rest. Oh, okay. So we're chilling here. Huh? Alright, well with that, um I think we're gonna continue this narrative in the next episode because it's already ten minutes long. So yeah. Bye!